Oh, hello everybody. Just making some coffee. Oh no, wait, this is not Survivor Challenge. <laughs> well, I was making some coffee anyway. So, hello and welcome back to Farming Smash 22. We're going to be very busy today making some ice cream. I have found, uh, well, I didn't really find it. It was just there on the first page of Mod Hub, uh, the fantastic looking ice cream production. I'll put a link down below. So I think we do have most of the products required to make it, although we are lacking honey and the cereal factory also needs a lot of honey. So I'm going to go for another beehive. Uh, so if we just go on to here, construction, production, no wait, animals, <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll go for another one of these. Maybe another two? They're not super expensive. Actually, it does look pretty amazing having a whole line of them. Wow, all the colours. So there we go, yes, we're going to be uh, increasing our honey production now. Just move on to super strength. Just get some of these shifted. Uh, so yeah, I need to take a look and see exactly what we need. I did look at the uh, requirements, the input requirements on Mod Hub, but just to show you and to refresh my memory, it's gonna be good just to go on here. Iced cream, there it is. So it requires strawberries. Typically I did sell a load of strawberries yesterday, but the greenhouses are still very busy. And look, we actually do have three pallets already, so that's good. Uh, sugar, we've got loads of sugar, honey, which I knew would be our limitation, and uh, milk, and chocolate. I think we do have some chocolate. I could always disable the butter and cheese production and just do uh, chocolate. But where to put it? That is always going to be our greatest concern. I suppose, actually, well, actually, I, I might need some more grass. I was going to say we could put it on here. Although we are quite close. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might build it here. Or better yet, over here, because then it's right next to the road and people can see the, the storefront, as you can see, ice cream. Uh, very nice, very, very nice. So yeah, that is all of the honey for now. Uh, hopefully that really does increase the production over the next few days and episodes. So what I need is the JCB, because to place it over there, we're going to need to move those bales and also the extractor. And today I'm hoping to continue with the harvest, but yeah, we just want to get the ice cream production uh, underway, or at least as progressed as possible. Yeah, it's a really good spot for it. So I probably will just take the silage bells over to the cows. I was going to do it yesterday, but then decided maybe we shouldn't. But then, really, except for selling them, I don't think I have any other use for them. So I might as well just take them to the cows. Fifteen thousand litres for every two that we deliver. Uh, they probably won't all fit then in that case. But they can always just wait outside, they'll be accepted as and when they're required. Okay, yeah, and the sooner we can get that mineral feed production underway, the better, because the cows need it and the fish farm needs it. So that is full, no more space for those ones, but that is fine because again that is just a holding place for them, we can always take them to the sell point later on in the series. If we get to the final day, when we're selling everything we still have them, then it's simple, just pick them up and sell them. Right, so talking about picking things up, I'll just pick up the extractor and I'll take it over to the top shed, I think I need to unfold it, or fold it up, yeah. Yes, um, should attach this. I think I've towed it with the JCB before. In fact, I think I've put it here with the JCB. Yep, good. And that has cleared our space for the ice cream factory. It's also super handy for the dairy. So it is a fantastic location for it. Right, so I'll drop this off and then we'll place it. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take the core track over to the store. This is going to be sold. Uh, we don't need it again because it was for the cultivation and drilling work. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Cause when we come to harvest, we're going to be using the uh, lorry for the trailer. 
and yeah that, that is it there, there is nothing else so let's just get the money back for it and then we can buy the production and make more money don't know if I should sell these uh, they do belong to the dealership I was demoing it a few episodes ago but maybe I want to demo something else this is going to be hard to fit it into this series I think anyway repair this 119,000 so that is pretty much exactly what we need that's good production and there we go ice cream so let's get over there I'll make sure that the shop front is facing the road because it just makes sense I probably should have travelled here first not enough money, what are you talking about? I have 120,000. It seems that productions say that when you hover them over another production. No idea why. It just does. So, we'll pop it here. Should be a good place for it. Maybe put it a little bit away from the road, otherwise people might be crashing into it. They're that desperate to get ice cream. And I will just texture the ground. Make it all look a bit neater. It probably does need to be smoothed a bit as well. If we just soften it. That'd be good. Oh yes, lots of softening. Lovely. Okay, so I think I'm going to do strawberry and chocolate ice cream, which means uh, bringing obviously both of these ingredients across. But if we did only have one, then we could just do one. As you can see, chocolate and strawberry. So we'll just activate both once we've delivered things. Sugar has automatically distributed to here. So that's fine. That's all sorted. Uh, we'll pick up those two and a half honey pallets. We'll bring across the strawberries and the chocolate. And we'll get a tank load of milk. So this should be uh, fairly straightforward, actually. It's a good opportunity to use this flatbed trailer again. So we have, uh, I think, 1,500 litres of strawberries. This is why it's worth having the chocolate as well. Because I don't think it's going to take too long to process these. And then I think it is only two and a half pallets of honey, unfortunately. But it is growing. Two and three quarters. With, with all these bees, it's soon going to pick up the pace. And then the chocolate is dead easy because that is literally right next door. Okay. Okay, so that is all of our ingredients there being delivered. Keep going. A bit too far out. Good. Okay, and now for the milk. Just like the tomatoes, they are quite slow at being accepted. Right, not too far to go with this. In fact, we could just carry them. So I don't want to give the production butter or cheese. Ooh, cheesy ice cream. Uh, yeah, that's the one. So we don't have too much. But I guess underneath all of this there might be more to spawn. I doubt it, though. Because that's quite a big spawn point. What I would do is I would disable the others. Disable, disable, and that gives more milk to go towards the chocolate. Chocolate production does just seem quite slow. Cycles per month, 2,400. Um, right, so at least we have one pallet of chocolate. Now, I don't think we're going to make that much ice cream, so it would probably be unwise to deliver an entire tanker that would probably be better off going to the dairies but having said that I'm still going to fill the tanker as much as possible because I can take some of it to the dairy wow quite a lot there 80% it's going to be hard to know exactly how much to deliver obviously ice cream contains quite a lot of milk or even cream. Uh, we should be able to see actually. It's 30 litres of milk in each small batch. 
So 30 litres of milk, 25 litres of chocolate, 15 litres of sugar, and 10 litres of honey. That's still quite a lot of honey for us. And that'll produce 70 litres of ice cream. So, yeah. Um, maybe I will put all of it here. No, I'll leave 20%. That's what I'll do. So we'll start pumping. We'll put the other 20% into the dairy just here. Because that should be plenty. That's still a lot of milk. And I think we're pretty much ready to start our production. There we go. So that leaves 6,500 litres. Which we'll just take around the corner. Now this series will be going until probably April of next year, in-game month, obviously not in real life, um, because we need to sell the clothes, and the clothes are always best in April, so that will probably actually be our finishing month. Alright, okay, so what I will do is I'll run over here, I'll jump into the production, and we'll press activate. I think we'll probably bring some more honey across later. So they're both now producing ice cream. What a fantastic feeling. Uh, yeah, that seems about right, really. Obviously not enough chocolate or honey, but <laughs> or strawberries. But yeah, for the milk, I think that's about right. Oh, I love the spinning cone up there. Let's have a closer look. Hmm, that is actually really nicely done. It's making me want ice cream. Delicious. Oh, mint. I love mint and vanilla. Strawberry. I'm not that keen on chocolate ice cream, actually. Yeah, I think mint and vanilla are my favourite. What about you? Post down below. Of course, that green could have been a different flavour, and I suppose, yeah, the other one could have been lemon. There are many, many different flavours of ice cream. I just mentioned the ones that first came to mind. Ah, oh, I've got all that wool over there. Okay, so we'll move that wool, and then we're going to go over to field number 34, which is just a small field with sorghum in it, and we're going to get that sorghum... Harvested, we're going to take it over to the uh, grain mill and we're going to get it turned into flour for the donuts. I'm just going to attach the voucher to this trailer. I have now returned the Deutsch Farm, by the way. That was rented for the uh, Pumps and Hoses DLC video I did. Uh, actually, yeah, they probably could do with this. I would imagine they'll take all of it. Yep. And I think their egg spawn point is pretty full. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we've got loads and loads of eggs to sell. Eventually. Just keep that clear. Would you look at that? We've already produced some chocolate and some strawberry ice cream. And they're out here in the sun. Quick. Get them under cover. Although that probably won't help. They need to go in a freezer. Right. The wall. That is a lot of wool. I've not been keeping on top of this. We'll take it all to this spinnery here. Uh, that'll really fill it up quite nicely. And then next time we get a load, we'll take it to the spinnery on the top of the hill. It is possible to squeeze into here. I didn't leave much space though. Well, that seems not bad. Great, okay. We'll continue on our way with that trailer over there. And we'll harvest the small sorghum field. Should be okay just there. And my combine, you can actually see it from here, is <laughs> over in that field on the hill. I need to get the header taken off and He's across this uh, railway.
Yeah, I really like this combine. Very, very nice. And when we have two of these working in fit number 26, it's even better. I suppose we don't have to have two of the same, but it did work extremely well having two uh, like this before, just because of the size and the grain tank capacity. Uh, I might make it a bit more interesting and find another one. Uh, maybe check Mod Hub, try and find a super big combine on there. Um, but there's certainly enough to harvest. We've got the corn in front of us in, in fit number 31. We've got the huge 26, which I think is corn as well, isn't it? Um, we then have the two fields back at the farm. Pretty sure we have something for number one. Yeah, so 26 is corn, that's corn. Those two, we've got um, soybeans and sunflowers. Another soybean in 37. And then we've got sorghum in number one. Actually, that must be ready. It is. So we'll go over there as well. We'll harvest for number one. What I'll do is I'll set the trailer off on a worker to drive over there. Once I've tipped it, I need to unload it first. But that was nice and fast. Yeah, it, it's just extra for us. It's still going to be about 13,000 litres of sorghum turned into flour which we know is going to make an absolute fortune out of uh, donuts. Okay. I suppose when we get a really narrow strip like this I could increase the speed. There we go. It's that yellow car. Making me manoeuvre. Right, brilliant. That's just going to be uh, a very small amount for that trailer. But I do want to start the uh, flower production. So I'll get things packed up and we'll go over to film number one. I'll see you over there. Good field this. Really uh, coming in fairly thick. Thick and fast. Um, right, so yeah, we've got the sorghum production underway. We're producing the flour. And I have now deactivated the ice cream because we've run out of chocolate and strawberries. Which was no surprise, we had very few. Um, but yeah, what I will probably do is change the greenhouses to only do strawberries. One of them is only doing lettuce anyway, so that can be completely changed. And then we need to think about the selling of it, of course, but we're not going to get that set up today. Good to get more of it, although I need to check and see when the best time is to sell it. It might be a different month for strawberry and chocolate, but you would have thought that ice cream is just going to be really good in the summer months and rubbish in the winter, but who knows? We'll have to see. I haven't looked, honestly, but if I was to have a guess, I'd say that July and August will be really, really good. Just because it makes sense. Maybe we have to have the sell point first before we can see. We do. Okay. So, yeah, as I said, we'll, we'll sort that out later. 
I'm gonna we're gonna pay for it. Well, what I probably do because you, you wouldn't normally buy the business you're selling to. I probably just uh, put that money back in the account. Don't really see that as cheating. Okay, so we'll just drop this off. Twelve thousand liters. Actually, very very similar to the other field. I'll probably leave the tractor here because it's going to be needed for all of the other surrounding fields as well. I am storing the flour here. We're going to have to pick it up at a later date to take it over to the donut factory. I don't want it to distribute to the bakery. And yeah, let's just go back over to the ice cream. How many pallets do we have? A few. More strawberry than chocolate. But that's still good. Ah, oh, they are both set to strawberries. I thought one of them was set to lettuce. It's a mystery. Anyway, that's good. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be picking it up again in the next episode. But until then, see you again soon. Bye for now.